Gemini, welcome to your Astro Flower reading for the month of February. How you doing? We're going to be going into your chakras and your aura and then finishing off with a tarot reading. I will be splitting these videos into two videos in the future, the energetic side and the tarot reading side, uh, because apparently shorter videos are uh, more important. I don't know. Something to do with you, YouTube. So there you go. You tell me what you think in the description below, in the comments below. Just give me a heads up on what you think. Um, so yeah, let's just see what's going on with you straight away. Here we have your the chakra man. Okay, let's get straight into your chakras now. Obviously there's big, this is all about positioning at the moment, um, uh, which we saw in the collective reading as well. It's positioning for this transition that's happening in the beginning of March. I think we're already in the new paradigm. It's a case of sort of like uh, you've woke up and that's the new into the new day, into the new paradigm. But you're not really there. You go and have your breakfast and then that's it. You're sort of awake. That's it. You get into the day. And I think that's what March is all about. We're already into the new paradigm. It's the wake up moment where the consciousness kicks into place. On your root chakra, this is where we have on the your right hand side is a lot more open, disperse, a lot more flexibility within it, um, which is really good for sort of um, sort of, uh, sort of, of relationships and stuff like that. You may be reassessing your relationships that you're having with people that are around you. Uh, it could be family, friends, community, partners, um, um, or even just yourself as well. Um, that's what it seems to be. So there seems to be a little bit of a shifting sands, I would say, on this side, but we'll go into that and let's see what happens. Uh, it'd be interesting to see how that reads out on the tarot in front of us uh, at the end of the reading. Let's just go into your sacrum and let's see what's going on there. Mm, it could be the reassessment. It could be sort of kind of going, am I really enjoying life um, this month here? And this is all to do with that repositioning, at the you know, which was going to go through this month. And I think this is where you need to... Uh, I think I've been going on at you for some time about this, actually, uh, Gemini. And if I have, I do apologise and I'm going to say it again. You really do need to um, get into that idea of sharing your pleasures. And if you don't know your pleasures, just go out and try things. Eventually, you're going to sort of kind of going, OK, I don't like, um, I don't like uh, riding a bicycle, but I love the wind going across my face. And actually, I like a bit of water. Therefore, maybe windsurfing would be a good thing. Or kite surfing, if you know what I mean. So you can combine, you can gradually get there. And I think that's, um, if you've done that assessment already, then it's now encouraging the social aspect of the connection of the activities you do with the people that are around you. And that could be new people as much as it is old friends, old members of the family or members of the family, um, you know, your partner or, you know, uh, and, and etc. So, and it could be a new partner as well if you're going through that sort of phase in your life. Um, you know, it's opening that door. It's connecting to the outside world. I think is really important. Um, that's going to help with your desires and your pleasures, basically, within your life of how you want to live life. Let's just go into the solar plexus. Let's see what's going on there. Yeah, you get the same thing in the solar plexus. I've noticed this in everybody's reading. There's an effusion between the solar plexus and the heart chakra at the moment. This could well be the fact that Mercury was in retrograde uh, and then Mars was March. Uh, Mars was in retrograde, um, and um, it's funny because Mars in French is March, as in the month. So I get confused about that. And it's funny that we've got the changes coming up in March. Uh, so it's got to do with Mars. And it's, um, you know, it could well be the fact that, that, that we, you know, we've gone through that Mercury retrograde and Mars retrograde. We're going to go back into a Mercury, Mercury retrograde as well. Um, but it could be that releasing of that pressure of that uh, misconnection with people that are around us that all of a sudden fuses and kind of goes, ah. And that could be the fusing of the heart and the solar plexus. Now, it does, your solar plexus does tend to drift off towards your relationship side. So there seems to be a passion that you need to put into your relationship side of your life. Um, 
uh, and and that will instigate that heart and that grow that heart sort of thing. There is a downside to all of this as well. Um, if you imagine solar plexus is fire and the heart is um, more sort of towards air and water, I'd give it, you know, sort of mist in a way, um, uh, the misty part of the heart. And, it, you know, water and fire can sometimes be very explosive. Uh, so you might need to be very careful about, you know, your emotions and the passions that you put into your emotions. If you're opening up new relationships or you want to explore new relationships or want to explore your existing relationships, it could also open those doors to passionate hearts scenario uh, within you. So it's, it, it cuts both ways, uh, this sort of uh, thing. And it depends on how you position yourself going forward. That is really important. Um, and this is where we come out of the general reading because it comes down to a personal sort of person. I do personal readings. You can find that in the link in the description below. But um, it comes down to your personal interaction with your life around you, depending on how it should be set up. Let's just go into your heart chakra. Let's just see what's going on there. OK, so this is where I can now see the desire for the relationship side uh, with, of the solar plexus. Basically, uh, the heart and we saw this in the collective reading as well. The heart has been split like we exactly like we uh, talked about in the collective reading. And uh, the inner section there is very thin. It's very fine. It's um, there's not a lot of emotions coming up on the surface from the past or deep within you. Uh, it's the emotions on the outside. So it's your connection to the outside world. Um, and this could be driving that desire to be with someone to um, fulfill your heart's desires. Uh, going forward uh, with connection with other people and connection with you as a person as in historically what you've grown up and how you've grown up through your life and you want to now connect that and have that life sort of dovetail with a love or or person another person that is around you um, and it ties in really really beautifully um, but um, yeah so I can understand the solar plexus has been pulled out to the outer rim because in the in the middle there's nothing to pull it towards. The most electrical magnetic thing that we have is water. Really, it's the best conductor uh, in the way, um, and because um, it's fluid, but it also conducts. Um, so, like, it's not like molten iron. That's why the center of the Earth is not a, is not a ball of molten iron because it can't with can't hold a magnetic field. So that is that is not the center of the whole earth. Um, anyway, it's like it's it's playing to the outer fields. It's playing into the socializing sort of aspect of it all. And I think you've got to get your skates on, uh, Gemini. Uh, let's just see uh, what's going on on the third eye and the throat chakra. There is a lot more in the way of thinking. Um, and it's taking up a lot of your communication. So I think you're listening a lot to other people rather than expressing your side. And that that's possibly something that needs to be adjusted um, in order for that heart to be filled. You need to express um, your sort of desires, even if it's on a, on, on a surface, like sort of like, I would like to try windsurfing or kite surfing. And then you might meet someone that, you know, someone will overhear that and kind of go, oh, I do that on a Sunday. Do you want to come with me? This is it. This is where if you can instigate that communication factor of actually you also speaking, you're very, very good listener, Gemini. Um, very good listener. Um, but I, it would be nice to see you expressing as well in a beautiful way, but with your own, you know, with that comes from within you. Because uh, that's going to drive that passion straight through that heart, which is going to create that in the rise of emotions that are within you. And that is where you can find yourself with your twin flame, with your uh, the person that corresponds to you perfectly for the situation that you're living at that moment. Uh, as much as a couple, as much as a friend uh, or a member of family, it could be just people that you really connect with. Uh, okay, so... Um, Let's have a look what's going on in the crown chakra. I would be wary of illusions of yourself or, or sort of saying, oh, but I can't. 
Um, not really like that, Gemini. Um, but there seems to be, um, you seem to be carrying, um, or your, your, your crown chakra is in a position where it's carrying a lot, but there's not a lot that you're carrying at the moment, if you know what I mean. And I think that's due to that missing part of the heart. So sometimes um, you may feel just, you may have a sort of disappointment in life itself. Not in some one, but in a little bit, just a little bit of a disappointment in life, kind of going, ah. And I think the, the learning curve here, and this is what we're learning about in the collective, about how we connect energy to our emotions and stuff like that. Um, I think this is, is how do you apply yourself so you're not disappointed with the world anymore? You're not disappointed with life uh, because it's how you interact with the outside world, which is going to spark or invigorate the outside fields or the life around you. So you are no longer disappointed in it. And that comes back to that heart and that, and that, and that throat chakra and the communication that needs to be done. So, um, you know, I would certainly sort of like in meditation, be very clear about what ideas, you, you know, if you have that idea of in your meditation that I'm disappointed in life, if you really look at it, I think you'll realize that actually you, sometimes, you know, we can't see the wood for the trees. The tree is so in front of us that you just can't see it, you know. And uh, if you take a step back, all of a sudden you're kind of go, oh, right. And I think this will free you up a lot as well to be a lot more at ease within the relationships that are around you. And when you are at ease in the relationships that are around you, it's going to flow into every aspect of your life it's going to be it will be really nice um but there is with everybody's reading for this month there is a certain degree of positioning and work to be done and you can't shy away from it it's going to happen whether you like it or not so i would get into that work because i think it's going to be really beautiful for you um it's certainly gonna you'll come out the other side kind of going I am that butterfly that came from that ugly caterpillar. Not that caterpillars are ugly, but if you know what I mean. You know, or that uh, dragonfly that came from that pesky lava uh, in the water, you know, which is a lot more sort of uh, extreme of beauty and, and beauty and the beast sort of scenario. Uh, an ugly duckling sort of um, um, process you're going through there. Absolutely beautiful. Let's just see... Um, um, and it wouldn't be anything less from Gemini, would it? Being absolutely beautiful. Let's just um, see what's going on in your aura. There is, okay, so there's a, what's happening on most people's aura? This is very interesting because this is what I, I think is all got to do with the pole shift. I will be doing a uh, podcast um, in the next week or so on this very topic. Um, there is a change in the morphic field. So in the change in the environment, the energy environment, which is creating a change within our individual environments. And it's almost as like you've got the aura, it's there, and it's like that's like a socket, if you like, and you're pushing an orange through the sock. You've got this bulge that's happening, that's going through. It's almost as if like another layer is being created on your magnetic field. Or it could be the reduction of a layer. Uh, it's just the compressing of two layers. I've, I am going to be doing investigations on this and I will be doing a video on it because I want to know what's going on personally. Uh, I'll do that through my healing. That's the best way to do my investigations that I've been doing over the last 30 years in regarding uh, seeing how the changing morphic fields or the changing energies within people create physical different sort of situations. And I still do these sort of healings. You can get an online healing session with myself within in the links in the description below but in general the rest of it is absolutely really nice but there is this internal transition that needs to happen um and i would engage in it i would engage in life even if it, it has caused you disappointments um in the recent past you know or you've got to a stage where you're disappointed in life uh okay so um let's go into the um tarot readings now let's just see what's going on here with the overall energies there's a lot of is a lot of it's it's speedy so we're looking at um the chariot um the knight of wands 
sort of scenario. Um, but it's 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 the overall energy is sort of kind of saying, okay, we're gonna. It's almost as if they're applying a little bit of a pressure on you uh, at the moment in order to just go ahead and do it. Go out there and get it. <laughs> you couldn't get a slower version of that. The opposite, the yin and yang. Okay, so it is working. Okay, apparently the cards are saying here that it's working on the long-term plan. And that could well be true in regards to um, your relationships and etc. I get that side almost being more important than on your financial sort of side. I think the financial sort of side is ticking over and is that long-term plan. And um, how you plant these seeds uh, in order for future growth within you. And I... I've got a funny feeling that plays out more on this side than it does on this side. We'll see it in the cards. But the energy here is almost sort of, as I said, I think it's fast energy and it's pulling you in that direction of kind of going, it's now time to plant the seeds. Let's get on, let's get out in the field and plant those seeds of the dreams of tomorrow, basically. Um, let's just see what's going on in your karmic message uh, for this month on your relationship side. Don't worry, be happy. It's, it's, yeah, care. I don't want to say you don't care about things. It's not that. It's, um, it's, it's that free beho bohemian sort of vibe you should get into at the moment. It's like kind of going, yeah, blow it, who cares? Sort of scenario, who cares? It's not that you don't care. You do care a lot. Gemini, a lot, way too much. You, you're so nice about that sort of thing. But you do have to nurture your own future. And I think this is sort of kind of, when you have that sort of attitude, a lot more things will be happening to you and a lot more doors will be opening to you. And I think you need to explore. I think you need to open doors. Um, <laughs> it's going to give you that healing sensation uh, going forward where... Um, you know, healing is sometimes obviously where you lay back and you relax, you focus your energies and everything like that, which is all part and parcel of the healing process. But also once, you know, if you're going through that healing process, it's also um, living life can also be healing. Time is a very good healer, um, as we say. And I think here is it's just sort of kind of going, it's healing and you've still got to live life. Um, and trust that, yeah, living life is going to be provide that healing aspect to you. Let's just see. Um, I'm going to go on to the financial side and see what's going on in the karmic message. Because after that, then we've got week one, week two, week three, week four. And we're going through each individual week. And we'll be doing both sides and tying it all into one. And so let's just see what's going on in the karmic message on your financial sort of side. They're showing me like a um, like an order book that's filling up. It's as if like things are really starting to motor on your side, but it is there is an also an aspect of it's like it's like this kick knight of wands. It's like planting those seeds. Those all in the order book is a seed. You haven't delivered the product yet, uh, and that's when you get paid. Um, but the order is in. So it's it's like that process of there of going through it. And yeah, I think it's very steady. Um, it's like this continual growth. It's almost as if like, yeah, you've I, I, we did talk about a change in direction from December. If you went through that change of direction, you may you will probably start feeling that I've now conquered my uh my desires in what I want to be doing. Um if you're in a in a career path or you're running a business and etc that you're sort of new to the astro flower and stuff like that if you haven't been through that um sort of transition period uh or, or change of direction you'll find that your job and your business is very methodical very constant constantly moving on and being aware of this knowing the good work you've done basically give yourself a pat on the back and that's going to bring you, I would have thought, over the coming month and certainly leading up into that changing aspect in March, that's going to give you a certain um, kudos, a certain authority, a certain weight within the place that you work in. 
a certain go-to, you be that go-to person uh, within your industry or within that new job or that new business that you've created. Um, that's what it seems like in this this month here. It doesn't seem like a change. So whatever you're in, I wouldn't sort of look at changing straight away. Um, I think you could do that in, uh, you know, in May, uh, in, in April and May period, um, which is a little bit further down the line. Enjoy your summer period. OK, let's go into the first week and let's see what's going on on the relationship front. This is where I think we find that little bit of that disappointment, which could be feeding that healing sort of scenario. And within your work front, it's like solid, um, yeah, it's like solid oak. <laughs> it's, it's unbreakable. It's like, it's, it's certainly, um, it's good foundation sort of work. Uh, and this ties into beautifully because when I'm reading your chakras, it's as if I'm reading directly to you. So this is my my right is your left, and your left is uh, that. So you know that right is your left, if you know what I mean. And it showed within the root chakra that side there that this side here was really set in place. So let's just see what's going on here. Hierophant. Now the hierophant's coming out for everybody, and I think this is the learning curve of the uh, connection of energy to emotion. So basically. The Hierophant here is like a teacher. It's almost like a master. They've gone through that understanding of the process of understanding of putting things together. So like body, mind and spirit. Um, 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 God, uh, human, uh, Holy Spirit. You know, that sort of the triangular, the sort of um, the pyramid sort of shape to it all. And there is a certain pyramid to this sort of um, this sort of image here. And at the top, you've got your desires and uh, inspirations and the things you want to do. So this could also be marrying between you and someone else. So it could be good for uh, connecting with other people, finding new love and etc. And the thing is, is you will understand that process going up those stairs to um, get to that desire. And uh, and I think it's here is um, it's it's almost as if like. Um, this is where the disappointment comes in. It's kind of, oh, I've got to walk up those stairs again. This is what I'm saying to you. If you're feeling like that, you've got to change your um, your your internal attitude there. Uh, to put this is where you get out of your head and into your heart because uh, you you you're not helping yourself. You you you're you're making it more difficult than it needs to be. You know he's 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 loving it, and you should be loving it. And I think this is what is going to come to fruition within you in regards to your connection to energy and your emotional sort of state. On the financial side, as I said, it was like a like a bit of oak, something really solid. OK, so this is absolutely beautiful. What you have here is here you have <laughs> the two different states. This is the state of the dreamer of the desires and everything like that. And this is the state that they know how to get to that. There's no longer a cord going between the person and the, the, the dreams and the aspirations. There is steps that is through understanding, through knowledge. On this side here, you have the cord. So it's all about dreaming. So uh, how does that work into um, an oaky, solid oak foundation? Well, a solid oak foundation is... What can you build on that? So the solid oak foundation makes the structure of the building. And from that is how do you want to decorate it? So within your life here, I think you're going to find yourself in a solid situation where you can now start examining the idea as kind of saying, what's the next stage of this plan in order to get to those dreams and aspirations in my life? And that is one of the next stages, one of those steps on that um, Hierophant card. Um, you know, the, is that five? Yeah, there's 12 steps between them. Um, but anyway, it's, um, it's uh, on your financial sort of side, it's, this is what is in the first week. You might be looking around kind of going, yeah, everything's working, everything's in tune, everything's fine. Where do I want to go from here? Um, but it's slow, it's consistent. You're not going to just suddenly change jobs 
It's examining at the moment. It's preparing for that longer term plan. Let's just see what's going on in the uh, second week. And this is a little bit as well how your sort of your ancestors, our ancestors sort of influence us as well. There is a spark in this week. It's as if like um, something happens in the second week here that sparks the imagination or sparks that solar plexus into life. And as it sparks into life through the heart, because there was a lot of space for it to come straight through the heart, I think it's going to stimulate a lot of ideas. And that's where you've got to be wary of being a bit hot-headed. Uh, and Gemini, you've got that fire at your base. It can sometimes happen very easily. You can get a real bee in your bonnet, as it were. Um, let's just have a look at what's going on on the um, financial sort of side of things. It's marking things down. So it's converting ideas into what is possible, how things are possible. It's a real, you're really positioning in a very calm, collective way on your work side. It's really, really nice. Um, evolution. Um, uh, ascension moment within, uh, within you. Uh, it's sparking those ideas that are coming forward to you and it's coming towards the sun. It's That just wants to come out at the same time. Um, it's applying this, getting out there and there is a spark that's happening which is liberating you and it could well be meeting or realising, oh, that's what I want. That's what love is. Right. And it's it's a real beautiful moment within you and your relationship side on the financial side you've got that page of one so pages is all about learning um it's in throwing that going through that learning process and it's going through that process of putting things down and kind of going i want this this is how i'm going to get there in my career path and it's trying things out in a way it's it's um it's like kids do it kids trial and error sort of scenario and it's often done through play and she's really enjoying dancing around and it's going to be working with other people uh, and it is going to you're going to recognize that good work that you've done and how you can contribute it in a very fun and joyous way with others so this could be within your business where you sort of um, have a new idea of doing a new product and then you'll realize one of your suppliers does one aspect of your product another supplier does another aspect of the project a uh, product and you can then do, put the project all together and that's what the three of pentacles is all about working well with other people let's just see what's going on on the third week here on your relationships social times i think this third week is really opening up to the idea of kind of going if this is what i want if this is how it works then let's just put it out there and try it. Very similar to this side as well. Uh, so it seems to be playing in tandem very beautifully between the two sides. It's giving you a very balanced and harmonious approach to this change that's coming up in uh, March. Let's see what's going on on the financial front. This is where it ticks off. It, it, it starts off. Um, it's almost as if like... Um, this is the planting of the seeds, this process here in the first two weeks. And then on the third week, it's kind of like, it's looking out in the field and kind of going, okay, I think I can see a green hue across the field as the seeds are starting to come together. Or you can notice that the environment around your product, that people are asking more and more for this product that you're gradually putting together with your suppliers, that sort of thing. And you're getting ready to ride the zeitgeist of the market. So I want to pull that card there now uh, for that side. Yeah, it's all to do with planning. There is still planning to be done here. Um, so it is noticing the hue, as it were, the, the, the starting of the environment around you, this project or this career path that you're doing it. And then it's kind of going, okay, now those ideas, I've tried them out, I've looked at them, I've written them down. Now let's start quantifying what, how I can actually really do it um, and putting it into action. Uh, on the relationship side, um, it's, yeah, it's very, 
It's very social, those ideas, writing them down and connecting to them. That seems to be a lot of this. There seems to be uh, a connection from the, from the third eye going right down to the solar plexus here. Uh, it's going to come through. You can have an effect on this by using your throat chakra and also involving you putting emotions into the situation. Um, if you've had a hard time uh, emotionally over the last two years, because a lot of us have, then uh, it's almost sort of saying uh, you can't give up on on the world, on your emotions either. You can't. And I think you need to re-engage, re as it were. Let's just see what the final week, just before the um, March situation, happens on your relationship side. There's travel here, I think. And that could come from this side here, because that's all about planning as well. It could be tied into work and being very sociable or, you know, uh, projects that you want to do. Yeah, it's that putting into place that intuition, talking about the third eye, there it's coming in there. I think within your relationship side, I think it's now visualizing to put it into place. And it, to put it into place, you're going to have to start connecting with people. And it may be kind of going, okay, if I do this, if I do that, then I can really start connecting with people. That's those happy ideas that you've worked inside you. I know that this is what I want. This is how I want it and everything like this. And now it's a case of in this week is how this is how I'm going to put it into practice. In the financial sort of side, I wouldn't be surprised if there's not an ace that comes out there. It seems like a bit of start of a journey of a, um, <laughs> the hermit. Oh, well, yeah, that is an expression of your vision. I think this is it. You've done that work. The hermit is the almost the 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 uh, introvert version of the of the hierophant. You know, they, the hermit has got that stairway that goes all up round the mountain. It's a longer path than the hierophant, but it's a different sort of satisfaction. I think within your workspace, I think you're going to get like um, a, a sort of situation where you're you're fulfilled, you have completeness with what you actually do within the material world and you're going to feel almost proud of what you do, you know, respect for yourself of what you do. And I think this is where you can start expressing it and then this is where this product can be um, um, a result of all that process. So you actually put out a product that not only is a good product but also something that people can respect of how it's been put together or how it's made and stuff like that. There seems to be a lot of respect built into this. Uh, it's going to launch you after that beginning of March. I think that's going to be like, okay, now release all the water that's been dammed up. And wow, it could be a really good, um, really, really good March. I'm going to put a card on March. I, don't, I haven't been doing this. You're the only one I'm doing it for, Gemini. Uh, let's just have a look for the March. King of Cups, control completely over you. It's like you're, you're here, it's plain sailing, and it's like, this is great. <coughs> Fully into your summer months. Um, is it your summer months? Uh, no, you're, you're, you're coming to the end of the summer months, um, uh, and it's like this Indian summer, so it's beautiful sunshine. It's the lazy days of end of August and September sort of days. Uh, in the Northern Hemisphere. Uh, in the Southern Hemisphere, it would be, uh, you know, February and March sort of um, time. Right. So this is perfect for you, you know. Um, but yeah, absolutely brilliant. Uh, really beautiful reading, uh, Gemini. Thank you very much for being here. Um, you can help this channel enormously by sharing this, by posting it onto every social media platform that you belong to it would really help us to get this um um to get this channel monetized on youtube uh because obviously uh you know uh, electricity people do ask for sort of um payments and stuff like that um so if you want to help out in this channel that's one of the good ways you can do it if you haven't been subscribed why haven't you been subscribed i can't believe it you got this far and you haven't subscribed what's going on you know, uh, click that bell as well, and that'll help you out. In the meantime, Gemini, uh, from me to you, don't forget, life should be fun, so please do enjoy.